1.9 seconds remain, and the Bulls have a shot at it. They trail by one. Well, that big play of the rebound was it didn't touch the rim, so they had to take the shot. seconds remain in regulation the Bulls are trailing by one and the Bulls will have the ball when we resume the shot by Steve Smith didn't touch the iron and that's why as Fred mentioned on the way out the Hawks had to get a shot off right and as it was they were unable to convert the Bulls tried lose the rebound finally and Jordan able to call the timeout well, a game and a half separates these two teams in the standings. A very important game to both of them. A touch under six seconds to go here. The Bulls are going to take the ball where? Uh, right down here. Uh, where are they going to take it? Back here in front of the bench. They've got a timeout. They've got a 20. Everybody up on their feet there. It'll be Tony Kukoc on the inbound. Jordan Pippen, B.J. Armstrong, and Luke Longley. The inbound to Michael. Racing the clock. Jordan for the win. Yes! Bring I it did it again! Oh! He is now back! Holy macro! Michael Jordan! Rings a two, and the Bulls win 99-98! Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. No question about it. Take a look at it again. It was Michael Jordan all the way in. It was vintage Jordan. 5.9 on the clock. Here he comes up. Steve backpedaling. Steve Smith. Up he goes over the hand. Yes, and you saw the red light go off when the ball was going through the hole. Watch this again. Michael loved it. Watch it again. Here's the time going down. Watch the ball go through the hoop and the red light come on right at the end. There it goes. There's the light right at the buzzer. Jordan. All that is missing from this picture is Craig Elo. Lenny Wilkins has to be cutting his wrist at this stage. He says, I've seen this so many times when I was coaching Cleveland. I haven't seen it for two years. The man is definitely back. 32 points for Jordan and the Bulls pull out a 99-98 victory at the Omni in Atlanta.